going from a nine to five desk job to living his passion of being a photographer. Come on. Hello everyone, I'm Melissa New and welcome to Framed. How do you go from absolutely hating your desk job to picking up your camera, shooting some of the biggest celebrities and doing something you're absolutely in love with and passionate about? This photographer takes time out from his schedule to inspire us and entertain us from the very top of downtown Portland. Let's do it. previous career was in finance. I have a financial background. I traveled to different locations for companies. I lived in Switzerland for about a year, uh, Chicago, LA. I think we grew up in America living to work. We have ideas of, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a lawyer, I want to work hard, making money is important. And that's what I wanted to be. I, I, I had dreams of being an investment banker because I could make tons of money. And I went to Ireland and it's the exact opposite. There, it's about working to live rather than living to work. So they want to get out of work and they want to go to a pub and sing songs and drink Guinness and build their culture. And this was like a hammer smacking me across the head. I, I sort of fell in love with this idea of traveling around the world and taking pictures. And after researching and, and realizing you, could, you might be able to do that, that was enough of an incentive for me to, to just quit and, and go for it. I did internships at newspapers around the country from the St. Joseph News Press on the border of Missouri and Kansas to National Geographic Traveler. And you know, all I cared about was the story, the documentary, the hardcore news. It wasn't until I was at the LA Times uh, where I had the opportunity to shoot portraits I was a terrible portrait photographer. I mean, all my editors would tell me, mm, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna send you out this time. You know, it, I was terrible. Having the opportunity with the LA Times to shoot celebrities and athletes, directors, people who've made a name for themselves, really uh, teaches you very quickly because you have 10 minutes, you gotta learn lighting really fast. And that actually gave me the portfolio to go to ad agencies or other magazines and say, this is what I've done. You know, what work do you have for me? My favorite assignment has been with the musician Beck. Um, you know, in high school, he was everything. I ended up setting up my tripod and having him take his own picture in a mirror. I mean, I framed it. That shot sticks out to me as my, one of my most memorable moments. Um, to me having an, uh, someone I admire growing up, the most perfect musician who's experimenting, and you guys, are, you're collaborating with, with back on, on a photo shoot. What else is there, you know? This is it. Another favorite of mine is James Mercer, who is the lead singer of The Shins. Shot him here at the Crystal Ballroom in Portland. The final shot we ended up using was I put him in a freezer with keg barrels around, and he's sitting there freezing, and you're thinking like, every frame you push, I'm in a beer seller at the Crystal Ballroom, James Mercer, taking a picture. <laughs> Perfect. Deep Roy was unbelievable. Jumping around on the huge throne we had set up for him. I had experiences with Kobe Bryant, Woody Allen, uh, the Mad Men crew. Every year I, I do a pro bono project for uh, an organization or a school um, free of charge and it's a good experience for me. And the opportunity I had was with the Institute of Human Origins with Arizona State University um, to photograph a field school in Ethiopia. What really caught my attention was the, the tribesmen that were sort of helping the students find fossils but also protecting at the same time. They carry AK-47s, swords. They were there in their 
and their strength in the photographs looking like, you know, they had for hundreds of years. I mean, you could have taken those pictures at any time in history. And, you know, I, I built up such a relationship with them, I left in tears, like, this is nothing I'm ever gonna experience again. I'm not one of those photographers that can think of things in my head, think about where lights are gonna go and what I want it to look like. I just know if I put the right pieces, if I have the right team with me, something is gonna come out of it. Everything that I do is sort of like an accident. I just show up and look at what's around and you kind of make it happen. I, there's a certain beauty in it, in the accident. And that is a perfect description of, of my style. If, if I'm shooting on set and uh, I know I got it, I, I feel the same way as if I was kissing a girl in a, a relationship for the first time. When you're really into it and you have that passion, you're sort of tingling. I don't want this to sound morbid, but I could die tomorrow and I'd be totally cool with it. Because I feel like the experiences I've had, I mean, this career has done everything for me. This is Roz. She's from Hawaii. I already love her. But she is the producer. Tell us what a producer does on a shoot. It depends on the shoot. Uh, it depends on the needs of the photographer or the client. So um, in this case, uh, you know, it's working back with Ben to help scout locations, um, find the models and the talent, mm -hmm. uh, and just kind of making sure we have all the pieces put together yeah. and ready to go. I think we balance each other out. Yeah. So I'm kind of a kind of a go 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 like. A little, always a little bit high strung, I guess not in a bad way, but <laughs> you get a sense of how people work under pressure in those yeah. kinds of situations. And uh, so I think it makes you, you know, it makes you better for it in yeah. the end. So it's a lot easier for us to, to work together. I'm Tom and I'm here because I've modeled with Ben a few times and uh, it's just our projects, but it's yeah. been a lot of fun. He did give me a little insight about you. He said, you're not the stereotypical model but you're almost an actor. Like, you you accentuate his work. Really? How do you get into that? Oh, well, that's nice of him. <laughs> no, he just tells me what to do and I do it. And you're obviously good at it. I don't know. So we're, gonna, so we're gonna be watching a star in the making, pretty much. Yeah? But I'm asking you. I don't know. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're excited to see you. My name is Lauren and I'm modeling for Benjamin today. Okay, and you've never worked with Benjamin before? No, I haven't, this is my first time. Yeah. Um, we have a mutual friend actually, who's another photographer, so yeah. he contacted me through and, friend. And why did he contact you? You know, I don't know. Does he want just the realness of Portland? He Maybe wants... so. Yeah. I mean, really, it doesn't, I, I suppose. I'm one of a, a fleeting few, like, native, tried and true Portlanders, yeah. so maybe that's why. I don't know. Very cool. Well, don't be nervous. We're excited to see you. I wasn't you until actually... you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>sit by this fire over here but that's this I told you that a lot of accidents happen when I shoot yeah. this is perfect I didn't see this happening yeah. so I'm just gonna go over there and start shooting them okay. which is better than any idea I came up with on my own awesome. and we'll see what happens what I like to do is sort of start far away and then come in close sticks I don't even know why I'm hiring them they don't even know what's going on <laughs> but I don't want to I don't want to mess it up I think it's got some perfect scene so I'll just start back here go a high ISO getting kind of dark, so I'm at 1600. The cameras are so good these days. You can shoot a lot in low light, which I prefer. I recommend uh, shooting it at a high ISO. And then if you have access to a noise canceling program, uh, Noise Ninja is one that I hear a lot of photographers use. Like. I, I use that personally. And that, what that'll do is, if you want grain, you already have it. If you don't, the Noise Ninja will go through the frame and smooth everything out for you. I also like to have controlled background, so I, I spend a lot of time with a very large aperture. 2.8 is probably as high as I go. I think the most important thing in a, in a portrait is to look at the background first. The background is the most important thing because it says something about your subject. 
So the cleaner your background, the better your frame is gonna be. I also see that they know I'm getting close and they're not being natural. So this is a good, this is a totally a good tip. Can. Make them uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, very sad. Make them uncomfortable, and then they think it's kind of funny, and then you can back up and do what you want to do. <laughs> Portraits are all about the eyes. Mm -hmm. So background first, eyes second. Framed perfectly by the building, being himself. Portraits are about the essence of the individual. Mm -hmm. This is Tom to me. Chin up so I can see your eyes. Boom. What you call a money shot right here? Tom, how comfortable does Benjamin make you feel? Do you ever feel awkward with Benjamin? No, I don't. <laughs> Look at him not trying to move his lips. <laughs> I told you he was good <laughs> So this was it all. It was all an accident. You didn't plan anything. No. But did you get everything that you wanted out of this shoot? Yeah, I was just going through the frames and I really like, I mean, I, I don't know if I'll put it in my portfolio, but I, I mean, it's close. We were shooting for how long? About 20 minutes? 20 minutes. And how many frames do you have on your camera? Usable one. Yeah. But I got 300. I try to go through as fast as I can. I try to just click, 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 click. And if something hits me really fast, yeah. that caught my attention. So I'll mark it. So I start with a big pool, go through very quickly, pick the pictures that jump out at me, narrow it down, do it again, narrow it down, and then I'll have maybe anywhere from one to five pictures that I really like. And then I'll do the same treatment on each picture. My favorite lens is 24 to 70, yeah. because uh, I can just go anywhere with that. Yeah. And I typically like to be close to my subjects. Yeah. I, I rely a lot on the environment to add to the frame. And I think uh, 7200 is too far for me to be, to relate to the subject. Yeah. I move around so much and I, I see things that I want to take advantage of them really quickly. Yeah. And I have to be able to move fast. And I think prime lens has kind of slowed me down. We put together some talent. We picked a nice location and we had some tools to work with. Yeah. And we just saw what was going to happen. I, I had no control over what they were wearing. No control over the weather. I, I'm not sure how other photographers work, but this is a system that works for me. I think uh, photographers who if you think you might be able to be an accountant, a lawyer, or a judge, this style is not for you. <laughs>